besides being one of the most famous comedians in the world. Eddie Murphy is a tycoon who has already amassed a lot of money throughout his brilliant career. But have you ever stopped to wonder about just how this actor lives? In this video, you will discover how the luxurious life of Eddie Murphy is like. Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag AllAboutSubscribe. Alright, let's get started. Career Born in 1961 in New York City, Edward Reagan Eddie Murphy, known only as Eddie Murphy, is one of the most famous comedians of his generation. Since childhood, he has always enjoyed comedy, and he got into his teenage years, he was already working doing stand-up. His career began to take off in the 1980s when he was cast as a member of Saturday Night Live, where he quickly emerged as the show's top actor, creating memorable characters. From there, opportunities began to arise for Murphy, with him receiving invitations to star in several films, such as 48 Hours, Beverly Hills Cop, The Nutty Professor, Trading Places, and others. Over the years, Eddie Murphy has established himself as one of Hollywood's great comedy actors, acting in and helping produce many successful films films, such as Coming to America, The Nutty Professor 2, Dr. Doolittle, Norbit, and many others. Murphy has also made a name for himself as a singer, and even as a voice actor, having his voice in famous characters such as the comical character Donkey in the Shrek franchise. Eddie Murphy's movies are so successful, he is considered one of the highest grossing actors in movie history which has consequently made him one of the highest paid actors in the world for several years. Current Mansion Eddie Murphy is a guy who doesn't skimp out when it comes to living in nice residences. Ever since 2001 he has lived in a beautiful estate situated on a nearly 3.7 acre plot in Beverly Hills. The mansion has a large and imposing facade, being completely surrounded by beautiful gardens. Going into its interior, we can see that the rooms are very large and spacious, and have a very sophisticated decoration. Many areas have a color palette consisting of shades of champagne, and a mansion as large and luxurious as this could not fail to have rooms exclusive to homes of this size. There are for example, a bowling alley and even a theater room equipped with comfortable armchairs. In all, the comedian's gigantic estate has around 32,000 square feet of floor space, being divided into 11 bedrooms and 17 exquisite bathrooms. However, on the external area of the house there is a beautiful pool with hot tub, in addition to having a lot of free space with some very green grass. And to get an idea of price, it is estimated that to build Eddie Murphy's mansion it was necessary to invest around $20 million, but that currently it is valued around $40 million. New Jersey Mansion Eddie Murphy also once owned a large mansion known as Bubble Hill, the same name as one of his songs. Located in the town of Englewood in New Jersey, this huge mansion sits on a nearly four-acre plot of land, a site completely surrounded by greenery. Right at the entrance of the property, there is a beautiful staircase, which gives access to its exquisite interior. The mansion is equipped with a variety of rooms capable of impressing anyone, such as a cinema, a piano room, a professional recording studio, a games room with a pool table, an indoor swimming pool with a hot tub, a gourmet kitchen with state-of-the-art appliances, a dining room with a table for 14 guests, a garage with a capacity for five cars, and even a fully automated bowling alley with two lanes. In all, the property has about 25,000 square feet of built area, divided into over 32 rooms, including six bedrooms and over 10 bathrooms. And according to what was reported in the media, Eddie Murphy sold this property in 2012 to singer Alicia Keys. It is speculated that the value of the transaction was around the $12 million mark. Granite Bay Mansion Back when Eddie Murphy was married to model Nicole Mitchell, he used to live in a gigantic 2.5-acre estate in Granite Bay, California. 
a house so luxurious it looks more like a palace. By observing its facade alone, it is possible to imagine how exquisite its interior must be. Going through the main door we find the huge and exquisite living room, which has a double height ceiling and floor-to-ceiling windows that offer a beautiful view and excellent natural lighting. Although the mansion was built in 1998, the property is in no way outdated, even boasting a super luxurious decor that will probably never go out of style. In all, the interior of the property has about 12,600 square feet of built area, featuring 7 bedrooms and 11 spacious bathrooms. The mansion also features several interesting rooms, such as a game room with several arcade machines, a fully equipped weight room and a cinema room with comfortable armchairs. The outdoor area is one of the places that stand out in this property, because there is a lot of free space with a spectacular view of nature. There is for example, a guest house to receive visitors, a sports court, a barbecue area and a stunning and huge infinity pool with a hot tub. And according to some sources, Eddie Murphy sold the property in 2007 for about $6,100,000, which is not a very high amount if you take into account all the luxury that this estate has to offer. Beverly Hills Mansion In the 1980s, Eddie Murphy had another residential complex in his extensive real estate portfolio. It was located in Beverly Hills, California. The property has undergone major structural renovations and gained additional neighboring land over time, forming an impressive 14-acre lot today. The property currently features a 20,000-square-foot main house with a facade decorated by a wall with a vertical garden, a 7,000-square-foot Moroccan-style guest house, an extremely exquisite and well-planned stable for five horses, including a rustic living area with brick walls, a beautiful riding arena, refreshed by a waterfall right next door, all in addition to a great tennis court that even has an area to watch the games. This huge complex was once home to famous pop singer Cher from the mid-1970s until 1988, when it was sold for $5,900,000 to Eddie Murphy. He renovated the property and expanded the accommodations before selling seven years later for $4 million. Today, the residential complex is valued at over $69 million, a truly unbelievable value. Cars when it comes to using nice cars, Eddie Murphy likes to enjoy a lot of comfort and luxury. He has been seen, for example, in a Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG, a car well known for the way it opens its doors. The vehicle is equipped with an excellent engine capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds, and it's no wonder that depending on the year and model, its price can exceed $220,000. Murphy has also been spotted in an Aston Martin DB9, an even more expensive sports car whose latest models can top $250,000. Upping the ante, he has also been seen with a Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano, a beautiful vehicle from the famous Italian luxury sports car manufacturer. This Ferrari model is equipped with a powerful V12 engine, which makes it one of the fastest cars of the brand. And it's no wonder that its price is estimated at over $300,000. The comedian also owns a Rolls-Royce Wraith, a luxury car valued at around $350,000. The most expensive vehicle Eddie Murphy ever saw, on the other hand, was a Rolls-Royce Phantom Drop Head Coupe, a stunning convertible car made for true tycoons. The interior of the car has a super exquisite finish, which was to be expected when it comes to a car like this. And to enjoy all this luxury, depending on the year, it may be necessary to invest a small sum of $500,000. Personal life Despite being a Hollywood celebrity, Eddie Murphy tries to be reserved about his personal life. Proof of this is that he hardly uses his social media. It is known that the actor has 10 children with 5 different women, being that Five children are with Nicole Mitchell, one daughter is with Melanie Brown, one son with his Paulette McNeely, one son with Tamara Hood, two children with Paige Butcher, his current fiancé, and the sheer number of children probably gave him a lot of headaches with the alimony payment arrangement. To get an idea of the figures, some sources estimate that the actor pays his younger children as much as $50,000 every month. The only woman Eddie Murphy was married to was Nicole Mitchell, with whom he stayed together for 13 years, until they separated in 2006, making an estimated $15 million million divorce settlement. We can say that when it comes to relationships, Eddie Murphy is an experienced guy. Excessive Luxuries 
an actor as successful as Eddie Murphy can enjoy a life filled with luxuries. When it comes to dressing well, for example, the actor has been seen wearing beautiful watches, such as a $10,000 Cartier Santos Gold, a $15,000 Rolex Day Date 1803, a $20,000 Cartier Pasha, a $35,000 Cartier Tank Frances Paved Diamonds, a $55,000 Rolex Day Date Yellow Gold, a $70,000 Ronda Cartier, a $90,000 Rolex Day Date White Gold Diamond. When it's time to relax, Eddie Murphy has already been spotted aboard large yachts, something he must use often, as he owns a 15-plus acre island known as Rooster K, located near Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas. And according to some sources, the actor acquired the property in 2007 paying around $15 million. Net Worth being considered one of the greatest comedians of his generation, Eddie Murphy has made a lot of money throughout his career. But things weren't always like this. The amount of money he received for each production grew at the same rate as his name became more and more known in the film industry. On Saturday Night Live, for example, he started out getting paid just $4,500 per episode, a figure that increased to $30,000 the following year. From then on things started to get much better, and Murphy's salary increased exponentially. It is estimated that he received about $200,000 for 48 hours, $1 million for best defense, $8 million for coming to America, $14 million for Beverly Hills Cop, $16 million for The Nutty Professor, $17,500,000 for Dr. Doolittle, $20 million for Pluto Nash, and up to $60 million for Nutty Professor 2. However, in order to dub the character Donkey in Shrek, it is estimated that he has earned, adding up all the films from the franchise, almost $20 million. And the amounts he received didn't stop there. In 2019 it came out in the press that Eddie Murphy was closing a contract with Netflix worth $70 million. And all this wealth received by the actor is the result of the gigantic financial returns that his films bring. To give you an idea, Murphy is considered one of the highest grossing actors in film history, having films that have together grossed over $7 billion worldwide. And while no one knows for sure what his net worth is, some sources estimate that currently, at the peak of his 61 years of age, Eddie Murphy has an estimated net worth of over $200 million. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.